Hi, I'm Martin from Multipipe, and today we're going to talk about how to pair thermostats on the Multipipe RF system. Now, we're working with quantum digital thermostats today and a multi zone controller. So, when you uh, fit your thermostats to the wall, first thing to do realistically, because they'll come uh, in an off status, is just to power the thermostat up. Press and hold the tick button there for three seconds just to bring the thermostat into life. When we apply power to the zone controller for the very first time, what you should see is a red power light on the far left hand side. We should see the red light on the receiver unit and a green flashing light here. Now, the RF controller works on a Zigbee system, which is a little bit like your home Wi-Fi really, but a standalone system, so won't interrupt and cause any issues with the existing home Wi-Fi. One of the great features on this uh, multi-pipe Zigbee wireless control box is that if you've got part of the property where the thermostat is struggling to send its signal is all thermostats speak to the coordinator and if you've got an area where the thermostat is struggling you can remove the coordinator from the controller and plug it into any powered USB port because it's important to identify that the thermostat actually communicates with the this unit here, the coordinator, and the coordinator then passes the signal onto the controller. So if you are struggling anywhere, you can move that to that powered USB socket, but out the box, you'll always find it directly inserted into the controller. Um, now, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually program this thermostat here to control certain zones on the controller. And it's a real simple and easy process to do so. So just to confirm, we're gonna press and hold this red button now for three seconds to go into the registration mode. And once the red light starts to flash at you, you're ready to play. Our green light has gone solid, and it's probably important to say now, if you turn it on for the very first time and you found the green light was solid already, we need to do a reset procedure, and we'll go through that towards the end of the video. So the red light's now flashing. Um, we're gonna go to our uh, thermostat, and we're gonna press the button once to wake him up, and press in the second time then, and it tells me quite clear on screen, connect with network. And it's now it's just gonna pair that thermostat to try and connect it with the network. It's then gonna ask you what system we're gonna play with. Now, if you're looking at underfloor heating, it will default to that automatically, but it can offer you as radiators an option. So when it got to underfloor heating, we've just pressed the tick button to confirm that we're playing with underfloor heating. Now it tells me to select the control box. Now we're working with control box number one. Um, you may have multiple control boxes for much larger systems, but yes, we're happy to look at control box number one. If you were ever unsure which control box we were playing with, you can just press this center button here and it will confirm to you that this is control box number one that we're working with. So we are gonna connect with control box number one. Again, we're just gonna press the tick button here just to confirm that. And then we're gonna choose the relevant zone that we wish to pair this thermostat to. And there are eight zones that we can go to. We're gonna choose zone number one, which we will have actuators wired into zone number one that will go down to our manifold. If we're happy that we're gonna pair this thermostat with zone number one, we're just gonna press the tick and it's gonna wait a pairing. And it's just going through that pairing process then. It confirms to you on the sequence there that we're We've paired that particular thermostat to zone number one, and it asks if you wish to do another zone. If you're happy that you're just with that single zone, you're gonna come out the registration process, but if you wanted to, you could add an additional zone. So if I'm gonna say yes, uh, we would just tick that. If not, I've just pressed the tick button here and come out of that registration process. So now we have paired that thermostat to zone number one, and to Com complete that process. If you want to check to make sure you've done things right, we would increase the target temperature of our thermostat. Press the tick arrow to confirm the set point, And then the thermostat will make a demand into the controller. Now it's important to say at this time, there is up to a two minute time delay before we will bring on the underfloor heating pump. So we've made a, de a demand from the thermostat into the controller. It's confirmed that channel one has been lit. But now the underfloor heating pump might not start for up to two minutes. And this is to allow time for the actuators to open on the manifold. So don't expect an instant response from the underfloor heating pump. If I turn down the thermostat, lower the target temperature. 
press the tick. Again, just to confirm your process there, we've lost the demand for heat and we've lost channel number one. And this is a simple, easy process then just to complete that as we go through. Now, if you need to do a reset on your system, it's a really easy process. What we're gonna do, we're gonna press and hold this button here. I'm just gonna press and hold it then until an orange light comes on the front screen. And once that orange light comes through, it's now deregistering the thermostats and it's taken away everything that you pre-registered. You'll see the thermostats, the display goes blank and powers off and powers back again. And we've gone back to our flashing green network light. The second thing to do when you're doing a reset process is to press and hold this center button until lights G1 and G2 light up for you. Then you can let go. And last but no means least, we're just gonna press and hold, sorry, press and let go of the reset button on the center. And we can confirm we've gone to a power reset now. The network light is flashing and we have a red solid light on our receiver unit. And if you wish to complete the process again, we're just gonna go back in again. I hope you found that informative. If you have any problems, give us a call here at Multipipe. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you again.